Hello YouTube and welcome to a new unboxing video. Today we have gotten the newest DJI OM5 smartphone stabilizer. I do have the previous model, the DJI OM4 as well. So you could actually have a look between the two. But first off first, it does seem like the box is a lot smaller than the OM4's one, even though it carries practically the same stuff in it. As you can see here, the box OM5 to the OM4. This is the older model. It's like practically half the size. It's also a bit slimmer. It's a bit fatter, but overall it carries practically all the similar stuff in there. There's only slight differences between the DJI OM4 to the OM5. It does have the new Active Track 4.0 compared to the OM4's Active Track 3.0. And as well, it is a lot lighter. And now it's also a retractable selfie stick, which is quite interesting. This stabilizer here is the OM4. I've actually used it quite a bit to record several videos. Really good little trusty gadget. And it's also one of the first to actually have the magnetic part of it. So th this I really like because instead of like trying to put it on and off every time, you could just unclip it and then just take it off again. Magnetic. And it's a really strong magnet. Even after a long time using it, it's still a quite sturdy magnet. So it doesn't wear off too much over time. I still enjoy it. So let's get into the unboxing. So we'll just take this off. Really simple. And here, it's a quick pull tab. They really like that a lot of devices now are having a quick pull tab to make it easier to open. Let's see, it opens up like this. Master every shot. It still uses the same DJI Mimo app. And here's some quick instructions as well. And here we just get a bunch of manuals. Yep, DJI OM5, quick start guide. And here is the stabilizer. The design definitely is a lot slimmer. It looks really nice. So they've completely overhauled the design. So compared to the OM4, it's quite a big change. And I really do like this slimmer profile. And it does feel a lot lighter. This one, it is still quite good as it is, because you still get like the grip. This one, yeah, you still get the grip as well. So you hold it this way. It's not on currently, so stabilization isn't on. This one. It's definitely a lot slimmer compared to a lot bigger for this one here. So controls. So that's still the zoom. Power button, manual. And recording or, or camera. And that would be the battery indicator. So they slightly moved it all around. So that's the locking pin. And USB Type-C. So it's still USB Type-C on both anyway. But yeah, it's a really solid device. And even though it is slimmer and lighter, it does still feel quite solid. This one, yeah, it 
they're both quite solid. But to make it a lot lighter and still solid is quite a feat. Good job, DGI. Another cool thing is they do have a new color. This is act I actually changed the color, which is the sunset white. Otherwise, they still have like the gray color available for this new model. But I actually do like it in white. Because you can still get it in gray, but yeah, I think I like the white a lot more now. This is called Sunset White. So let's just see what else comes in the box. So it comes with the USB Type-C charger. And the stand. This is quite similar to the previous stand. Even this one feels a bit lighter, but it practically looks exactly the same. Is there a bit of a design difference? No, it's practically the same. It does feel a bit lighter, or I could be wrong, it could be exactly the same. Yeah, maybe they are the same. They haven't changed it. Just change the color. So we actually get the strap. This will be the riser for the pad for thinner smartphones. And the magnetic mount itself. Which also looks practically the same as the first one. Looking at the two magnetic ones, they are practically the same, just only slight differences. Well, this is still the gray. They will probably be gray if you get the gray version, but it does seem like they have changed the colors of, of this part just slightly. This is just a sticker. And instead of saying DJI, it does say the OM for the OM5. On the back, this is just more simplistic, DJI, and the OM4's one. I do actually like this one still, DJI, the future is possible, Osmo. They, they still went off the Osmo name here. You say just want to see if this still works with the OM5. And yes, it does. It locks in quite solidly, so yeah. If you have the Air One Four as well, you could interchange a bit, interchange them between both of them. And with the Air One Four, there it is. Let's try with the new mount. Yep, same thing. Locks in securely, and really strong magnet. Nice. And yeah, there should just be one thing left. It should be the case. Just a simple DJI small case for the stabilizer. They say a more simplistic design. And the original one still went off the Osmo name for the OM4. So it does seem like DJI completely got rid of that Osmo name. So it just says DJI. Feels like the same material as the original one. So the color is the sunset white, not the gray. So if you get the gray one, you probably get a gray bag as well. So the only thing that didn't come with this one, which came with the OM4, was actually a smartphone mount, which was essentially stuck right onto the back of your phone. So it does seem like they just went with purely this one now. 
to just hook onto your phone, then connecting up at the magnetic point. Probably because not a lot of people did like the sticking of the actual part onto the fan itself. So having it on the stabilizer is actually quite easy. And as you can see here, I'm actually moving it and it's actually quite stable. We'll probably do some tests outdoors as well to see how well it does. But at the moment, it does seem like the stabilization is kind of smooth. And I could use the movements here to adjust slight adjustments. It is actually a bit quick. It's quite nice. And to take a photo, it's just pressing the button here, which looks like a record button, but it's just taking a photo. And if you hold it down, then that's the video. So, yep, photo and video. And zooming in and out on the side. So yeah, that's actually quite nice. The only one thing which I found interesting is I am hearing a bit of a noise coming from the bottom of the stabilizer. Not too sure what that is, but it's just a bit of a buzzing noise. I'm not too sure if that is normal or not. I might write in to find out. As well to make it to the landscape mode, you can just easily double press the button down here and it just goes to the landscape. Do it again and it goes back to portrait. For most photos and videos, I tend to do it in a landscape mode. If you just press this button down here, like quickly double tap it. Yep, that, that quick shortcut is still there. So you could easily just do it to a landscape mode. Really nice. So the new Active Track 4.0 would be quite interesting to use with this one. So I'll be looking forward to doing a lot more videos once we're able to go out more. Because currently we're still in lockdown and yeah, it's a bit annoying that we can't go out too much since we're still in Australia, Sydney, which is still in lockdown. So you test out the motion. So it does seem to go all the way there. Let's put it all the way to the other way. Yeah, that's quite far. And up and down. So that's a good range of motion. It's about the same as the Air One Force one. And one last thing that this stabilizer has that the OM4 doesn't have is if you pull from here, it's like a selfie stick. So you could actually do it and stabilize it at a far off position. And you can still move it around, still magnetically attached. After using the OM4, I do trust the magnets on this one since it is really, really strong. So this is like a selfie stick. And it does actually go, actually not too far, but it's good enough to have a good wide angle for the front. And then you just close it up and it's just back to normal. For comparison for the range of motion, this is the this is the Air one. So yep, this does still go quite far. So that's on one way. And let's try the other way. Uh, 
And so it does seem like the A14 has slightly better range of motion. And up and down, let's have a check. So you tilt up. Hmm. All right. So yeah, maybe the OM4 does have better range of motion. But they did actually change the design of the OM5. So maybe the change of the range might be because of the new design. But yeah, it's still quite a lot slighter. So I'll give it that. But there is a bit of a price difference. The OM5 does cost a bit more than the OM4. But yeah, I still like the OM4 and the OM5. I think I'll be changing over to the OM5 though, since it is definitely a lot more pocketable. So this is the OM4 in its closed position. And yes, it is more bulky. And this is the OM5 in its closed position. The only main difference with this one is, is that the mount you cannot have it in its closed position with the mount on. So I guess you could just have it just connected to your phone if you just use it a lot or if you're out, put this on your phone and just keep it on your phone. So you don't have to keep putting on the mount and then putting it right here. This one though, it does give space so you can have the mount on, but it is a much bigger profile compared to a much slimmer profile. That's actually quite a big difference in space. So I do really like this one. And since it's lighter, yeah, definitely more pocketable. So that was my unboxing and quick look and comparison between the DJI OM4 to the OM5. Slight differences, good changes, bit of a price increase, but overall a really good new device. But as you saw in what we looked at, the DJI OM4 does have a slightly better range of motion. But would you actually be moving it around that much or would you just move the stabilizer to where your focus is? So overall, yep, the Air 5 with the new Active Track 4.0 technology as well as an inbuilt selfie stick. Would that be a good enough difference between changing over to the Air 4 to the Air 5 For me, maybe yes, it's a good upgrade, but for others, maybe the Air 4 would be a better choice. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you like this type of content. We'll be posting up a lot more videos with new tech and collectibles when they come out. So I'll be posting up semi-regularly, or not too regularly, depending on releases. Thank you guys for watching. Goodbye.